Greetings, dear viewers. Please read the video description. There's some information in there that I didn't really find a good place for in this video, so I just put it in the video description. In either case, let's take a look at Exanima's combat. I should point out that the purpose of this video is not to teach you how to fight in Exanima, but to explain how the combat works in Exanima. I think the two are different. I think a video along the lines of how to fight would teach you specific swings, uh, footwork, maybe certain techniques, um, or even just the basics of uh, how the controls and stuff like that work. That's not what this necessarily is about. This is just to explain how the game's physics-based combat works. And only a basic explanation at that. Nothing too detailed, just the basics of how this game's physics-based combat works. You see, in Exanima, there are no pre-recorded animations, and damage isn't dealt simply because you got your weapon to touch your opponent. No, you have to account for absolutely everything in combat. If you want your weapon to deal damage, you have to strike your foe with enough force behind your weapon for it to deal damage, and with the correct part of your weapon. And it's entirely up to you and how you control your character to generate that force and to aim the correct part of that weapon by first positioning your weapon in a starting position and swinging it to a finishing position with actual technique. Again, there are no combat animations here. Everything you're seeing on screen is physics driven. Your footwork matters. Your positioning matters. Your body's movement matters. How you hold your weapon matters. And how comfortable you are with your weapon matters. And with all this, we're just talking about offense so far. Defensively, what armor you wear, how much it covers your body, its total coverage, the weight of your armor, how much it weighs on you, and even what material your armor or clothes are made out of, all affect your defensive capability. And not in a simple plus 10 to armor class way, but in a physics-based way. You can even wear multiple layers of armor, for example, to reduce the impact of incoming blows, but be careful because doing that affects your weight and maneuverability, which of course affects your ability to both attack and to defend. All right, so you've heard my basic explanations of combat, and you've been watching some footage of me in the game's arena mode on screen, but the fights you've been seeing so far have been really clunky, they've been really haphazard. And this is because what you're seeing here so far has been footage of me still learning the fundamentals. Well, I've got some practice in at this point, so let's skip ahead and let me show you how I perform after I got some practice in. Now, I'm still just a beginner, a very beginner here, even with the amount of practice I've put in, which is a few hours, not really like a ton, but I've got some practice, but I'm still just a beginner, so I'm not doing this uh, to show off my elite combat skills. I'm doing this because I am, at this point, just practiced enough to be able to illustrate just how deliberate combat is in Exanima. And that right there is the key word. Deliberate. First, let me show you exactly what I mean when I say you need to generate enough force with your weapon in order to deal damage with it. Did you see that strike that I just landed to my opponent's arm? Let's analyze that strike in slow motion. First, notice how far back I am from my opponent. This is because I'm wielding a two-handed axe, which I chose specifically for this example. In order for my axe to deal maximum damage, I need to strike not only with enough force behind the weapon, but also with the correct part of my weapon, which in this case is the axe's blade. First, notice my mouse cursor. It's the red circle that you're seeing moving around on screen. The first thing that I do for a swing, and for this particular swing, there are several different ways to do this, many different ways to do this, but the first thing I do here is I position my mouse cursor to the right of my character, and this positions my axe to my right side, which is where I want to start the swing. Then I click and hold my left mouse button. The longer I hold left click, the fuller the swing. While holding left click, I swing my mouse far to the left and fast. I do this because while in combat, my character always faces my cursor, so swinging my mouse to the left will turn my character to the left. If I do this while holding left click, my character is turning his whole body while swinging, and that adds a lot of velocity to the swing, which carries the axe head's mass faster and further. 
the proper part of my weapon connects with the opponent and deals damage. Now, just because my weapon connected doesn't mean the swing is done. Notice right here, I don't release left click yet because you can see my character is still swinging, nor do I return my mouse to a defensive position. I don't want to bring it I don't want to bring it back to a central position yet. This is because I want even after the hit has connected uh, that extra follow through. Now I didn't do that intentionally at the start of this. I'm still learning. I'm not applying that subtle nuance just yet. This is something that I noticed that I do uh, during editing. I'm noticing that I'm doing this right now. I'm still holding left click and I'm still keeping my mouse in the left position. Uh, and I think that's just good practice whenever you want those really solid swings. Okay, just wanted to put that out there. Now, because I only hit his arm and that's not enough to stop his aggression, I follow up by backpedaling, keeping my axe in front of me to avoid his counter swing. All right, you've seen how some of this works. Let's watch the rest of the fight play out. So did you catch all of that? Let's take a look at it again. The first thing that I want to point out here is how I deliberately got in close to my opponent during one of his swings. He's swinging and normally you would think you want to back away or dodge or block that, right? But in this case, I got in close during one of his swings, making it so he hits me, yes, but ineffectively with his arm and the handle of his weapon and not with those spikes at the end of the weapon, which are moving much faster. And then, because I've forced the fight in such close quarters, he makes another swing, and this swing hits me in the head with just his arm. <laughs> now, note that even his arm could deal damage if it was swung fast enough, but because I'm so close to him, he doesn't have the room to generate enough force to hit hard enough. Now, if all of this wasn't clear enough, let's take a look at a very clear illustration of this game's physics. The heel of my axe's head catches on my opponent's club, our weapons are momentarily interlocked. My axe then slides down to his wrist and hand, and in trying to free my weapon, I actually pull my opponent to one side. In a combat perspective, neither of us could have predicted this, and it puts us both, when it's all said and done, in new and different positions in the arena and in the fight, and we both have to adjust. We both take a few steps to reorient ourselves, and here, my opponent is a good enough distance away for me to take another swing. But as I swing, he moves forward, forcing my axe head to miss entirely and the handle of my axe to bluntly thud against his leg, dealing no damage. We both narrowly miss one another, and I swing again, sidestepping this time. Now, I admit that during the fight, at the time of the recording, this was not intentional, but my sidestep lets me get behind him and my axe head connects just below his hip. It's only a light cut because of how slowly the axe is moving this late in the swing, but damage is damage. Now it's his turn to land a significant blow. He swings and I'm late in putting my axe in the way of his club. Notice how he doesn't follow through though. He stops his swing as it hits my body. It's a novice move, but an equally novice move is what I did too. I'm stepping into his swing as it connects, which makes it hit harder. And take a look at this. Notice how during recovery, it takes me an extra long time to lift that heavy ax back into a fighting position after that blow. A lighter weapon than the two-handed ax might not illustrate this particular nuance. And here comes the match ending blow. So do you see how deliberate everything is? All of your actions, your footwork, your positioning, how you hold your weapon, your technique when you swing your weapon, all of it must work in concert with one another to just hold your own in a fight, let alone win one. 
in this match, I'm using a sword and shield instead of a two-handed axe. As you might expect, a one-handed sword might require more finesse, and definitely lacks the two-handed axe's longer reach. But the lighter double-edged weapon, the sword, is more versatile than a big axe. Observe this truly brutal stab. If I had aimed my mouse a little higher, I might have driven this sword through my opponent's torso, and in this game, that might very well be an instant win for me. But while it's hard to tell, it looks like my sword went into my opponent's leg, and not directly either, but on the side of his leg. Still, it was a forceful and deep cut, which went a long way toward winning this match. So in Exanima, how does one pull off a stab like this? Again. As before, I have to start far back enough to generate some force, but not so far that my stab won't reach. To stab, I alt click and hold. And notice how during a stab, the cursor aims the point of the weapon. And just like before, if I incorporate my movement into the technique, I can add more force to the attack. In the case of a stab, this means lunging forward just as my arm is extending outward, putting more power behind the weapon. So we've talked a lot about swinging, generating force, hitting your opponent, hitting your opponent with the right part of your weapon, uh, dealing damage. But what about defense? Well, we've already seen some backstepping and dodging, but what about blocking, one of the main pillars of defense in any game like this? Blocking too is a deliberate affair. This is why I chose the sword and shield for this example. Watch here, as I stand mostly still, intentionally blocking my opponent's attacks. How is this done exactly? Well, it's actually somewhat simple. Your character does his or her best to automatically block incoming attacks on their own, as long as they are facing your foe. But it's still up to you to use the cursor to guide your character's body and armaments in such a way that your character has the easiest time putting his or her weapons in front of the incoming attacks. Now notice I said you had to use your cursor to position your weapons to block the attacks. Yes, your character is sort of doing it automatically, but you have to keep your weapons aligned with the incoming swings in order for your character to have the easiest time defending. And if you'll remember, if you'll remember from before, uh, during the part where we were talking about all the swings and, and dealing damage and stuff like that, you also have to use your cursor to guide your weapon as you swing it. So how could you possibly do both? How could you guide your weapon during attacks with the cursor and also defend yourself by positioning your, your sword and shield or whatever you have available uh, in front of your opponent's attacks also with the cursor? Well, the answer is you have to find a balance. You can't do both. That's what combat is. That's how that kind of thing works. If you're gonna make an attack, you're probably gonna leave yourself open in some way. If you're gonna defend all the time, then you're not gonna be able to make attacks. But let's get back to the blocking itself. Looks easy, right? Well, I did say it was simple, and it is, but simple doesn't always mean easy. Watching this in slow motion, you can see my cursor sometimes quickly whipping about and sometimes remaining steadfast in a certain spot. What's happening here is I'm watching my opponent's footwork, weapon arm, and weapon, and using my mouse to guide my sword and shield to the best defensive positions. And yes, this can be done with just a single one-handed weapon as well. But as you might imagine, having a shield makes it easier. Now, of course, this is against the very beginner practice match NPC, and he's having a difficult time getting an attack through this very simple defense. But as you can imagine, more skilled opponents would be able to break through, get around, or even manipulate and exploit these defense techniques if I continued to use them in such an elementary fashion. Against tougher foes, you must not only be ready to block, but you must also learn to parry their attacks, counter their footwork, and use selective aggression to add to your defense. And I'd love to show you footage of me doing all that, but the truth is, I'm just not there yet. But I wanted to make this video to serve as a sort of reference for what Exanima's combat is, and why combat is so awesome in this game. So I hope you folks enjoyed it, thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you folks next time.